hundreds of players being relegated from the Premier League. Let's take a look at the one player from each season you probably forgot went down from 2004 to the present day. 2004, Keith Andrews Wolves. Many of you probably won't remember Keith Andrews. Republic of Ireland fans definitely will. He was almost the embodiment of the Giovanni Trapattoni era. Hard working, tracking back, no Wes Houlihan. Andrews was snapped up at Blackburn Rovers in 2008 as Paul Ince dragged him from the dregs of League One. This wasn't his first time in the top flight though. Having begun his career at Wolves, he played one single game for them as they were relegated during the 03-04 season. The game was against Newcastle at St James's Park where Alan Shearer missed a late penalty allowing Liverpool to take fourth place at their expense. So I guess it was partly thanks to Andrews helping Wolves to an unlikely point that Jimmy Cherriore currently has a Champions League medal. 2005, Jimmy Redknapp saw them. This is what happens when you try and help out your dad. If Jimmy Redknapp had just retired Six months earlier, he'd have finished his career without a relegation on his CV. Instead, he postponed a media career where he'd end up boring us all to tears and traded Spurs for Southampton in January 2005 to help out his dad, who was finding the switch from Portsmouth to the enemy slightly more difficult than he'd anticipated. Both Redknapps were relegated on the final day of the season, with Jamie then calling it quits at the age of 31. 2006, Chris Sutton, Birmingham. Speaking of pundits that make us want to chuck our remotes through the TV screen, Chris Sutton finally returned to the Premier League after six years in Celtic when he linked up at Birmingham in January 2006. He made 10 appearances, scored one goal in a derby defeat to Aston Villa before jumping ship once relegated to Aston Villa. 2007, Alex Song, Charlton. I wouldn't blame you if you'd forgotten who or what Alex Song was considering he spent the last two years of his career out in Russia, but let's not forget this man was once a key player for Arsenal and earned a move to Barcelona where he got to watch some great football being played from the bench. During the 06-07 season, he was chucked out to Charlton Athletic on loan, impressed during his 12 appearances, but ultimately was relegated at the end of the campaign. I wonder if he and Mascherano ever discussed what it was like to play under the world-renowned Alan Pardew. 2008, Lauren Bear Derby. County. Yep, bet they wouldn't have put this chapter in the Santiago Munez story. On his day, Lauren Abair was one of the most dangerous left wingers in Europe for both PSG and Newcastle. Within two years of leaving the Geordies, he was jumping headfirst into the furnace that was Derby County, a team who seemingly won a scratch card to qualify for the Premier League. And even then, despite joining a squad low on confidence and scraping the barrel for quality, Robbie Savage, anyone, he still couldn't get in the team, playing just four times before joining John Carver out in Toronto at the end of the season. Oh Lauren, what happened to your career? 2009, Chris Wood, West Brom. Chris Wood is Burnley record signing and while he hasn't paid them back yet five goals come on lad there's still time for the 26 year old he's had brief playing time in the top flight before scoring for Leicester City before being chucked out to Leeds but it was at West Brom where he first tasted action nine years ago when he made two league appearances as they finished bottom of the league during the 0809 campaign 2010 Matt Ritchie Portsmouth whether Matt Ritchie gets relegated this season is anybody's guess but believe it or not it's happened to the man before you might have thought his CV was just a who's who of lower league clubs and you'd be right but he started at Portsmouth made his Premier League debut against Wigan in April 2010, something he called a dream come true. The dream turned sour a month later when the club were relegated, drowning in their financial problems and never to be seen again. That's what happens when you change owners three times in about a month, including one who paid for his takeover with £5 million he stole from his wife. 2011, James Beattie, Blackpool. So we've touched on a couple of young lads who made their debuts during a troubled season. What about James Beattie, a former England international who was brought in on loan by Ian Holloway in January 2011, as it slowly dawned on him that his squad, while littered with fighters, was seriously low on quality. Beat he had kept Stoke up when he arrived midway through the 08-09 season, scoring 7-16, but two years is a long time in football. He played nine games for the Tangerines, couldn't have looked more out of his depth, highlighted by the fact that his next job was in League One, where he still couldn't score. 2012, Anthony Modeste, Blackburn. How do you even try and begin to replace Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? Well, apparently Borussia Dortmund are trying to sign Anthony Modeste from Tianjin Kuan Yin, where his pockets are probably stuffed with solid gold. So where have we heard his name before? Oh yeah, relegated to Blackburn during nine goalless outings under Steve Keane. 2013, Ian Hart, Reading. Ian Hart had not been relegated from the top flight in nine years. Granted, he'd barely played in the top flight since, but that's not the point. Considering he'd spent three years in League One, it seems mad to think he was a Premier League footballer with Reading at the age of 36. He went down at the end of the season after playing 16 in league games. 2014, Moussa Dembele, Fulham. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Moussa Dembele swapped Fulham for Spurs in 2012. What are you on about? Well, you're forgetting Fulham have a thing for signing players with practically the exact same name, from replacing John Collins with Collins John to the two unrelated Moussa Dembele's. The French one, who is a striker, played two league games during the 13-14 season, starting against Everton in March 2014. Will we see him back in England soon? I mean, probably. He's got to get bored of playing FIFA on amateur eventually, doesn't he? 2015, 
2016 Steve Harper Hull City. It seems hard to imagine Steve Harper anywhere but on the bench of Newcastle United. Let's just pretend that spell at Sunderland never happened. After 14 seasons at his boyhood club, he directly competed with the Magpies for survival during the 14-15 campaign, with old friends Moussa Sissoko and Jonas Gutierrez inadvertently sentencing him to the drop. 2016 Patrick Bamford Norwich City. Thankfully for him, Patrick Bamford, the man who looks like he needs a good meal, has stopped being passed around like an empty crisp packet from club to club. After scoring one goal across four separate short-lived stints at top-flight like clubs, he looks like he's back where he belongs. But yes, he did get relegated on loan at Norwich in 2016 after doing pretty much nothing in seven games. 2017, Julian Lascott Sunderland. We could have started this list with Julian Lascott back when he was a half-decent footballer and not someone who spends his time blaming his social media activity on the third hand that seemingly lives in his pocket. One of David Moyes' master plans last season was trying to turn Sunderland into Everton of 10 years ago. Literally. It did not work. Lescott, a 26-time England international, played just twice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.